Hi, I'm Dan. Today I'm going over the installation of the touchscreen kit. Before we start, you need to know that the process is the same on our mills, lays, router, and plasma. Today I'm just using the 24R, but rest assured everything's the same. To download the installation guide for the touchscreen kit, go to tormach.com docs. And on that page, search for the kit part number. A link for the PDF will open below. When you first get the touchscreen kit, open the box and examine the contents. Some kits might have an extra VGA cable included. Do not use this in conjunction with the HDMI cable. It will cause the PathPilot screen to freeze during startup. Discard this cable. Before you can proceed, lay the monitor down on a clean surface and remove the four screws that are securing the stand to the back. Hold on to these screws to attach the monitor to the VESA plate. There are two ways to install the touchscreen. The first is just the touchscreen on the machine arm. The second is a touchscreen with the controller mount mounted behind the monitor. Let's start with the installation of the touchscreen only. If the four and a half inch VESA mount plate that came with the monitor arm is installed, then you must remove it. Place it in a safe place in case you will one day install the controller. Reuse the same screws you just removed to install the three and a half inch VESA mount plate. From the rear, align and attach the monitor to the VESA mount with the four M4 machine screws you remove from the stand. Then secure the screws in place with a Phillips screwdriver. For the installation of the monitor with the controller mount, mount the four and a half inch monitor plate onto the machine arm. Because it's awkward to hold the monitor and the PathPilot controller VESA mount and secure the screws at the same time, it's best to have a helper. But if one isn't available, Place a monitor face down on a table, align the PathPilot mount to the monitor's VESA screw holes, and secure it temporarily with tape on both sides. Hold the monitor with the PathPilot mount up to the 4.5 inch VESA mount and align the holes. Thread in the four socket head cap screws to hold the monitor in place. Then secure each of these screws with a 3mm Allen wrench. Remove the tape from the back once the monitor has been secured. You can then slide the PathPilot controller onto the slots of the controller mount. Now, attach the USB cable to the bottom of the monitor and thread in the thumb screw securely. Attach the other end of the USB cable to the PathPilot controller, but make sure you attach it to the blue USB 3 input. Then attach the HDMI cable to the bottom of the monitor and then to the HDMI input on the PathPilot controller. On the other side of the monitor, attach the power cable. Since we are covering several types of machines, we won't go into full detail about tidying up the cables. Use your best judgment to bundle the cables with the provided wire ties and cable tie holders. Just make sure that none of the cables are bound up or cause any cable strain. Now that everything has been wired up, power up your system. And at the PathPilot main screen, type in admin touchscreen into the DRO. This should pop up in the list as you type. Select this, press the enter key, and the touchscreen calibration display will appear. Touch each of the four points, and then PathPilot will return to the main screen. Check the functionality of your finger input. If the touchscreen doesn't respond well, then type in admin touchscreen sensitivity 1000 into the DRO and press enter. If that still doesn't respond well, you can change the input number to anything between 1 and 2047. 1000 is a good starting point, so go in increments of 100 to 200 in either direction until you get good input. If you're still having technical issues, please contact Tormac Technical Support at tormac.com support. Thanks for watching, and please click on subscribe and hit the bell icon on your way out. Thanks again.